Hello everybody! Welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm! I'm Jims McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello JFW Universe! It is Friday night and it is time to stand firm to end the week and get ready for the weekend. And we are almost into the penultimate show of the SummerSlam run-up. That was terrible, but here we are in Detroit, <laughs> Michigan, and we are kicking it off with a bang. The Flim Plum Cruiserweight division is all open to pretty much all guys for the title. Man, I'm on a fucking, I'm terrible right now. Anyway, <laughs> we've got a fatal four-way coming up, and there's a special stipulation going on here. These four competitors are the best four competitors by win percentage in the Flim Plum Cruiserweight division. The loser tonight will be out. This is not an elimination match. The one person pinned is out of the running, and next week there will be a triple threat with the three remaining, and then whoever loses that is also out. And the final two will go to SummerSlam to face Ghoul, face Killa for the Plim Plom Cruiserweight title. But before we get there, we got to get ringside for this match. Jim, this is going to be a hell of a match. Tell us about some of these competitors. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> yeah, we just saw Just Joe outlast five other men in a world-class match on the pre-show wank to become the current stream champion. And he is going up against Antsy and the unnatural snacker, Muppet Pac-Man, and somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but here's Antsy first. And uh, let me tell you, he's been pretty goddamn good since debuting a few weeks back. One of the highest win percentages in the Flim Flom Cruiserweight division. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been uh, very very successful, and uh, he's got a cocky strut. He's got a strut and a swagger about him, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, a bit of one. And yeah, Tom Stiz, you know the Friday night fuckboy missing from the Friday night show, but he just did not have the record to justify getting a shot at the title in this run up to SummerSlam. But he has been getting it significantly better in the last few weeks. Maybe after SummerSlam, we will see more from Le Bread Mask, the original Flip Flop Cruiserweight. But until then, we have all of these guys that are better than him. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm a little off tonight. I don't know what happened. I swear I didn't smoke up. <laughs> It's all right. It's still it's still better than everyone else on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, tongue tied, Rick. I've been tongue tied. I'm just excited for the show. And why am I excited? You might ask. Well, let me tell you. We're getting treated to a back to back week of backstage brawls featuring Scaramezzo, the man, the myth, the legend, and he is going up against one of the most hated men in the JFW, Shawnee. Formerly a big ham, rude ham, but no longer. He's forged his own path, but his path made him find Scuro in the locker room. And God knows what dirty things they're going to do there. That sounded weird. <laughs> God knows what he found Scuro Metzo up to in that locker room. <laughs> offended him enough to try and beat the shit out of him for it. <laughs> I don't think I'm dyslexic. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I'm just really bad at names. <laughs> I'm also really, really, really bad at like actual human beings' faces, and that's kind of a weird trait to have as a photographer. <laughs> but I can never, I can never recognize people. That is really weird, isn't it? Like uh, mostly, it's with like actors and actresses where I'm just like, all blonde women actresses look alike to me. So. Wow. So someone will be like, oh, did you see that Laura Dern movie? And I'll be like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> You'd recognize just Joe anywhere, though. Yeah, that's a face you can't forget. 
<laughs> what timing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's my point, is I was trying to... It's not Laura Dern who I was thinking of in my head when I said that. There's an actress who's very popular now who I always think is Laura Dern, even though Laura Dern's like 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Haunt isn't the word I would use, Tony. <laughs> Embraces your soul. <laughs> oh, oh, a little shoulder wiggle there. Joe's feeling it tonight. It's been a good day thus far. Like I said, just coming off of literally minutes before this show started winning the uh the, the 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 stream title yeah the internet championship on the pre-show wank <laughs> yep uh, internet championship yes whatever it's called yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep but gyrating out from backstage the unnatural snacker himself Muppet Pac-Man uh, haven't seen a lot from him too recently he's been really focused on trying to coach up Satterfield in J5 and with great success because everything those guys have done recently has just been incredible uh, so here he comes now trying to uh, get back to his winning ways in the Plim Plom Cruiserweight division and let's see if he can get himself to SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, you won't. See and you. here we go. This is a fatal four-way. This is the first pinfall will end the match. Pinfall or submission. Um... Mm -hmm. And uh, that person will be the odd man out. They will not get to compete next Friday night on Stan Furman, the triple threat. So a lot riding on this. We'll see what happens. Should be a frantic one because because it's a fatal four-way, everyone's going to be trying to break up every single pin and submission attempt. These things have a tendency to go, and we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, even though in this particular case they shouldn't, but never mind. What do you mean? Why would you want to... Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Yeah, an excellent <laughs> point. An excellent point. <laughs> so I didn't even the... think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe the winner will get sexual favors from Sheila, and that's why. That's why they're going to break up the attempts. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, Muppet seems to know what's up. He's uh, not interfering as Yancey works over the arm of Bleeding Hippie. Bleeding Hippie coming into this with the by hands down the best win percentage of these four wrestlers, I believe. Yeah, probably. Probably shouldn't say hands down and I believe. <laughs> not really instilling a lot of confidence in that one. <laughs> hands down, I believe, probably. Yeah. Well, I looked over glorious. at Nancy and was like, oh, wait, no, he had a really good record. Too, like, <laughs> Hippie's just been in so many more matches than defend. all of these other guys. Possibly defend. combined. Yeah. Ah, Night Demon. Glorious. Welcome aboard. Four months. Four months. And We've I'm... been doing JFW for four months. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Good lord. Oh, no, Nancy taking out the ref and no one else. <laughs> I missed... Oh, no, he, he was... He was playing possum on Hippie, and ah, nothing worked out there for anyone except maybe just Joe. <laughs> well, it's, it's three months, isn't it? We've been doing it three months because when you resub yep. for four months, yeah. it's been three months since the first time you subbed. But thank you very much. That is a whole beaver pregnancy. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird that the entire run of JFW has been that long, but also. It's felt like both, uh, you know, a snap and an eternity. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's weird, isn't it? It is weird. This is, this is how we exist in life now. 
Yeah. A quarter of a year. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's episode 13 and stuff for Stan Firm. Yep. This is episode 14 of Stan Firm. This is episode 14 of Stan Firm. Oh, oh here we go. 619, Muppet's favorite. Oh. Nails it on Hippie. Trying to show Hippie you have what depth perception is. <laughs> and he sticks the landing. And not going for the pin, even though he's got a pretty clear shot at it. Walks in that arm submission, though. Wouldn't it be a shame if Hippie were the one out? He's been on such a tear for pretty much the entire run-up to SummerSlam. Yeah. Anything could happen. Oof. Brutal Oof. moves here. Tornado DDT. Oh, pin coming in. Nope. <laughs> oh, Hippie. Hippie breaks up the pin, celebrates, and gets kicked for it. Nothing went well there for him. Two men way down right now in the ring. The other two are brawling it out. Oof. Oh, God. Some crazy moves going on here, isn't oh, it? Quick pin, but a rope break. These guys too prideful to uh, yeah. let someone else win. <laughs> God, I really timed the being absolutely shattered badly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine, Jim, I believe. T and we, let's get going. T O E. I said T and a we. Oh, let's I get thought you said T O E. I thought you were taking the fucking piss. I thought, I'm just going to say what you don't have. <laughs> 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 yes, I frequently find this like the best way to. The ref's not counting. The ref's not counting the pin. What's Whoa. going on there? Ref with a bit of brain worms, or maybe just Joe. Just Joe might have been uh, using his fireman charms to uh, <laughs> keep that ref on his side. Real scandalous, really. Don't yeah. know if that would have been a three count either way, but the fact that he didn't get a one count out of it is pretty shocking it is well as i was saying i generally when i choose to insult someone i don't just randomly and inexplicably <laughs> spell out a word somewhat related to their uh physical appearance <laughs> i was confused <laughs> n-o-s-e jim n-o-s-e <laughs> there's the fireman s-l-a-m <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Muppet Whoa. Muppet with the triple suplexes Yeah The uh, three Maverick bars <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but look at this Oh, the, the classic The classic from Joe But Joe gets himself in a bit of trouble here with Muppet Yeah, oh Oh no, Ancy breaking it up Trying to press his advantage on both men Oh boy, look at this. Oh, a JFW Hang. classic. Yeah, hangs him up on the ropes. Oh, mix, misses with the wheel kick. And now Ancy all alone with an injured Joe. No, Joe counters. Oh, Joe no. turning it on here. Has a shot if he doesn't slow his pace down, but he, he does. <laughs> Do a pointless Irish whip. <laughs> yep. And that's enough time for Hippie to get in. And no, Joe, not liking, not liking what he saw from Hippie there. Saying you're not stealing a pin on Ancy, I did all the work. Oh, chin breaker. And and uh, oh, Hippie was about to roll out of the ring there. Ancy is completely down right now. Just now, struggling to his feet. Crawling to the ropes. Yeah, Muppet might have a shot here if he can uh, if he can get some good moves on him and. Oh, and there it is. Another 619 coming. But with the other two competitors in the ring. Oh, go for that pin right when he's doing his move. Oh, he did no, it too. Uh, Just a second uh, too fast. Yeah, he almost had the switcheroo, I think. But now Just Joe going up top. Who's he going for here? Oh, no. oh look at that. The swanton and the power bomb there, and Hippie rolls out of the ring. Muppet <laughs> trying to steal the pin on Ancy. Ancy hasn't moved in about five minutes. <laughs> yeah, he's just being murdered. And now, oh Muppet, go for the pin! Go for the pin, Muppet! 
it. Oh, yes. oh, we've seen that a million times. <laughs> Antsy with the leg sweep getting up and now applying the submission the ring to Saturn. Oh. No, instantly countered by Muppet, fights his way out. The Both of the bigger men are outside the ring right now, barely stirring, and now Antsy trying to recover. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah. This is why you put four Plim Plom Poozerweights in the same match. It's always a delight. It is a hell of a match, isn't it? And now, Muppet, everyone on their feet. Unbelievable. Oh, no, the roll-up. The quick roll-up by Joe. No, no, no. Doesn't fool anyone on that one. <laughs> oh, Antsy might want to think twice about celebrating. Oh, a third six one. Nope, doesn't doesn't get him on the ropes. Ah, <laughs> uh, Muppet having a weird celebration. <laughs> and now he's going top rope, going top rope. This could be something. Just Joe and Antsy working each other over. Ooh. Now he finds the knees on Hippie. Hippie counters it, counters the frog splash. Just Joe hits the finisher, the fireman flip, and can anyone break this up? Oh, oh. <laughs> Antsy took it to the nuts, but he's probably not going to hold that against Muffin because he broke up the pinfall. Wild and crazy guy, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, t yeah, he absolutely was. <laughs> Oh, and now, oh, house. look at this. Antsy again, down and thrown here. And Muppet choosing to work this over the be knee it. before the pin. That's his kick out knee. No, he's still able to kick out. <laughs> uh, hippie missing by about a foot with a stomp. Classic <laughs> Hippie. Yeah. Well, no, he kind of connected that time. I think he was trying to hit Muppet though, right? And that's why he hit Antsy. <laughs> <laughs> Have not seen uh, hippies go to the uh, the springboard miss to the middle of the ring. It really is an effective strategy for him. <laughs> it really is. And now Joe breaks up the pin. <laughs> yeah, I, I think all three of these guys, you think they might conspire to pull hippie out of this match. Joe can't pick a target here. And then, oh no, has his finisher interrupted. Oh, huge suplex. Devastating. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. Are they going to be stuck here? Nope. No, Joe. Right on him. <laughs> Savage neck breaker there. And Ansi somehow has recovered. Yeah. Oh. And Ansi going move. for the pin on Muppet. Oh, Ooh. no. Oh, the, oh. Hippie. Uh, got got stuck on his uh, submission. Couldn't break that up. Muppet able to kick out anyway. Oh, a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him! <laughs> he hit him! <laughs> oh, what yes! Is happening? Oh, Hippie never changed. Yes. Never changed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Look at that suplex. Wow. Hippie's phenomenal, isn't he? <laughs> he sure is. God. And, oh, he could he could have a pin here if he wants it. He doesn't appear to. And there we go. The leg sweep again. Oh man. The good old magic clothes on. Oh, what's this? What's this? Muppet thinking something big here. Oh, the DDT. Oh, no. That's the hardest part of the ring, Jim. It really is. Just spikes his head into it. That was brutal, Absolutely. It? That was one hell of a DDT. <laughs> oh, and that one. Oh. Oh, he's busted open. And then, yeah, he gets a little taste of his own medicine there. Yeah. Just Joe busting him open. No one in the ring right now, except now Muppet rolled in. Just Joe looking to maybe end this. Top rope. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, hits the leg drop, but now everyone in the ring. Oh, oh there it is. Of twist of fate. Doesn't quite get into the pin quick enough. 
Oh man, if Hibby lost because he was doing a taunt, that would have been amazing. I know. <laughs> oh, and here comes their fourth 619 of the night. <laughs> Classic Muppet back to his old ways. Good to see that because he's had so much success. Does he go for the pin here? Does not. Oh, look at that. Big Muppet monkey flip. Yeah. Was that Hippie busted open? Sure was. Yep. <laughs> oh, the double stomp. Now they're just teaming up on Hippie. Oh, but that truce has ended. Now Muppet. Oh, man. The hurricane. Oh, ran. this could be it. Oh. No, the, the last second kick out. I thought Muppet was going to steal that. He's got a pin on Hippie right now if he takes it. He does not. No, he seems to want to just wander around. <laughs> He is bleeding profusely from the head. The confusion is a little warranted right now. Yeah. Oh, but Ansi, look at this. Oh, no. Into the pin, but there's... Oh, no, nice yeah, hippie. the hippie had too long to recover. Gets him into a rest hold. <laughs> yeah. another oh, another twist, twist of, the of fate on Hippie. Hippie's down. Hippie might be out. Oh, Ansi's but, broken up before yeah. he even started. Everyone really focused on winning this match. Yeah. Oh, wow. What oh, a super... look at this pin. Oh, God, but he took it to the ball. <laughs> oh, oh that's it's the backbreaker it. or whatever. And the pin. Oh, oh Muppet stunned. Oh, oh <laughs> Joe kicks out at two again. <gasps> What a crazy match this is. Absolutely. This is great stuff. Now, Hippie out of the ring here. Oh, Muppet's got something to work with with all this. No, can't overpower Joe, though. Huge, Takes another huge. DDT. Oh. And now it's down to Ansi and Joe. Either one of these guys could end this match right here, right now. Oh, we're going to see oh, the no. uh, DDT oh, no. on the apron. Oh. Yeah, we sure did. Joe busted open. That pretty face got a little bit less pretty. No, nope, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, using his thighs to just grind his balls into the top of Anthony's head. <laughs> he learned that in firefighter school. <laughs> When he was an apprentice fire wanker. <laughs> yep. That's what he learned. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he just stamps oh, no, on the ref. ref. <laughs> yeah, the ref taking a little bit of uh, incidental contact there. All four men back on their feet. Anyone could win this match, Jim. Oh, At any uh, moment, yeah. Yeah. Oh, big pancake. Oh, it's the, it's oh, the worm! Oh, the worm! Hippie's locked in! This could be it! Oh, interesting! No, he no, just... Hippie right there! Right there! Oh, he suplexes him on the oh. Ansi! The triple suplex is gonna buy the other two a little bit of time to recover. But doesn't look like they're making much use of it. No! And look at this Muppet standing tall over everyone right now. <laughs> Take your pimp, make a pin, make a pin, Muppet. Make a pin, Muppet. Oh, just stamp on his head. <laughs> just relentless, and now just Joe lure, wah, looming. Oh, oh just go up top, and we can see another Swanton. Hey. We do on the hippie. Hippie in trouble here. Muppet though, right there, breaks it up. Oh, counters in with oh, the, the wheel, wheel kick. kick. Get that pin on Hippie. Get the pin Got on a pin Hippie. Hippie. No, no, no. <laughs> Stop celebrating. No, oh, he picked him Oh, up. he's going to get countered. That's the no, opposite he's not. of what you should have done. <laughs> he oh, no, Muppet. Muppet, no. He had it, Jim. I think he had it. Oh, I think he did. Oh, no, that's Hippie's finisher. Hippie could do it. This is it. Oh! Joe. Joe breaks up the pin, but he's gonna pay for that. Oh, oh my God! Hung up on the ropes. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Every time we do a four-way with Flim Flam Loserweights, it is a delight. This could be this could be the match of all time for the uh, 
Uh, I still I I still think that four way elimination with Moradam. That oh, yeah. uh, that to me is just the the cream of the crop. <laughs> oh Ansi, oh Ansi, no, Ansi, that head wound really playing uh playing tricks on him. <laughs> Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Oh, smash it. This could be Ancy. it. Come Ancy, Ancy, it's just got to pin him. He's just got to pin him. There it is. This has got to be it, Jim. It's got to be. It is. Oh, Hippie just a second too late. <laughs> or Muffet a second too late to save Hippie. And look at that. The favorite, the, the win percentage leading, leading Hippie is out. Next week, we will have... Just Joe versus Muppet Pack Bear versus Ansi. And the two top guys, the two not to be pinned, will go on to SummerSlam. Unbelievable. What a win for Ansi. Incredible, wasn't it? That was what a match that was. And now Ansi has the best win rate in the Plim Plom Plus Away division, though a very <laughs> small sample size. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Smaller sample size, but you can't take that away from him. He's been electric since he's joined. Sure has. He has, dare I say, shocked the system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think that when I said he'd been electric. Damn. <laughs> Right, here's McNaughton. We don't know who he's calling out, and there's two questions. It is not only is who is he calling out, but who is going to do his voice? Uh, uh, you want it, or do you want... Yeah, you do it. I can't. I don't want to do a Spanish voice right now. Okay, we learned my it. lesson after... Uh, after, <laughs> after my unseen walker. <laughs> Hello, table leg. Table leg in the house. The, uh, the man, the myth, the legend of Claw. <laughs> well, McNaughton, yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh yeah, do you want to join the Discord and just do it now, McNaughton? You can if he you doesn't want. know what to say. He doesn't know what to say, Jim. He doesn't know what to say though. Oh, you wee bard bastards, yeah. Here I am, the fucking Scotch beef himself. I uh, can't believe how I'm fucking talking, but there you go. <laughs> As you know, I've had a fucking wee little 220 pound fuck off. <laughs> fucking chain round my neck. Fucking calcium. The piece of shit. Well, now I'm free. Freedom! <laughs> no Hurry more. Up. No more calcium. I've got my haggis. <laughs> And now, I'm gonna, I want the fucking world championship as well. So Tony plays poorly. I've beat you once. Get your ass out here. <laughs> well, calling out Tony plays poorly for the world heavyweight championship. But that's not Tony plays poorly coming out. That's a Dante Callison's music. What is going on? <laughs> Don't worry, my German's gonna be worse than his Scottish. Because <laughs> you're the champ, Tony, that's why. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and here's a Dante Kellis, good lord. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's real nice that you think you can get a World Heavyweight Championship match, but uh, that's not going to happen, my friend. You see, me versus Tony is what all of the audience pays for, and uh, so Max Schnell, get the fuck out of the ring. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to face me, and you don't want that because I'll don't bomb the fuck out of you. I don't give a fuck who I fight. I love to have a fight, and I'll fight a fucking German prick like you if I have to. But I want fucking Tony, I tell you. I want that gold. I've been held back too long by that piece of shit calcium. <laughs> Yo!
Gavel, this is your last warning. You see, uh, the the match the match is going to be me versus Tony plays poorly, and not you. Uh, you you understand? So uh, kindly uh, grab your leader hose or your dress or whatever it is, and get the fuck out of the ring. Go back, kiss Calcium's wife some more, and uh, count your blessings that uh, that's all you have to uh, face. Because otherwise, I'll kick your ass right here, right now. I'd like to see you try, you fucking turtle, cunt. And I will be jumping on Wendy afterwards as well, I tell you that. Oh, oh baby, I'll have a deep Shut fried up. Mars bar and I'll fucking rag the fuck out of her. <laughs> I'll probably batter calcium as well, just for fun, and his fucking son. Yeah, well, I hear what you're saying, so I'm just going to say, uh, why don't you uh, go back, kiss uh, your uh, cock wife goodbye, and uh, then get back out here in a few minutes, and you and I, one-on-one -on -one tonight, I'll kick your ass, and then I will go to SummerSlam, and I'll kick his fucking ass, and take back my fucking title. Okay, then. You fucking little bastard, you're on. I'll fucking beat the crap out of you. And I'll play the bagpipes. And I'll eat a deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> and I've already said that. And I'll eat a haggis. <laughs> and I'll put some more fucking face paint on. <laughs> I'm gonna deep fry your schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you miss your snack or something? You're talking a lot about food. Again, I'll fight the ring right now and get ready to get your ass kicked by a proper and efficient German. I lift weights naked on my roof, motherfucker. I'll lift you naked on your roof, too. And then we'll see who's laughing last. <laughs> I have seen you looking up my kilt. Well... You can look up at the skies tonight as I fucking pin you one, two, three in the middle of the ring and then I'll go and beat Tony at SummerSlam. What do you think about that, you wee born bastard, you? Yeah. I don't know how I do a Scottish accent, McNaught. I, 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 think, I think if you keep persisting, my friend, you're going to be shell-shocked by the results. So yeah, uh, Max Schnell, uh, E9 Berlin, or another German shit. Let's fucking go, motherfucker. I see ya. Oh boy, look at that. Sparks flying, McNaughton calling out Tony, not getting an answer. Oh, Don Zakel is challenging him to a match later tonight and destroy him <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> That was one of the most dominant victories on the mic we've seen thus far. This <laughs> <laughs> is the smartest time. game on the planet. Every fucking time, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. But before we get to that match, we've got a very special build. Big man, little man. It's a tag team match with a heavyweight and a flim flam loser weight. Uh, uh, wrestler, and on on this one we've got Flicky Flack and La Bread Mask versus Unseen Walker and Ripper Doc. Should be an interesting match. None of these guys have a ton of experience as tag team partners, except for Flicky, who is very used to tagging with a suboptimal teammate after teaming up with Marcel against uh, against Six Feet Down Under. But, uh, you know, the red mask might not be terrible enough to be uh, Marcel level. We'll have to find out. But here it is. Big man, little man, tag team match. <laughs> oh, yeah. A more little man, little man with uh, Unseen Walker with him being an actual yeah. little dwarf. But never mind. <laughs> I said what I said, Jim. <laughs> I said what it I said, goddammit. <laughs> it's funny we put a fucking dwarf in our debuting. Big man, little man. <laughs> Should have teamed him up with T Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Tony, Tony single handedly won and Brett watched. <laughs> in Armageddon. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> no surprise there. He, he clearly has terrible taste given who he uh, spends all his time hanging out with backstage. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, I don't know who you mean. <laughs> oh, Do I you meant Jimmy min <laughs> Oh, you mean the greatest champion of all time and the current Extra Arms Belt champion who beat Skurometo yeah. about seven times in a row. That one. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, well, may, 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 maybe those results are what stands in your mind, but uh, yeah, the JFW universe raining down a very different tune about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my trend, champ. The number one trend on Twitter right now. <laughs> no, I think you'll find it. Jimmy is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just, I, I, I don't see that. I see Jimmy as Tarsus. Is that what you meant to say? Because, nope. yeah, I do see that. Nope. No nope. good. Uh, Flicky's entrance is over now, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Do you know what? Fall Fall sent me these biscuits, and they were very nice biscuits, but he made the abreast spaftastic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he really did. It got, it got delivered at my house, and the, the, the name was Spaftastic. Mr. Spaftastic. Brilliant. Again, you... now that Fall Force has your address, he is filming you sleeping at all times. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy's and there he is, the former world heavyweight champion, arising out of the ring. It is Unseen Walker. Yeah, boy. He's looking a badass. Takes off his imaginary helmet. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost an honorary ham, isn't he, at this point, Unseen Walker? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> we'll have none of that during the during the real shows, too. Yes, sorry. Your, sorry. Fan, your fanfic can run on however you want it to. Yep, sorry, let's not mention it in the main shows. I, I'm sure right. all of this is just a way for Jimmy Min Max Tastic to get another belt. The <laughs> ham belt or whatever it is. Yeah, the ham hawk. <laughs> It's a very good idea. Oh, he is Ripper And Doc. also rising out of the ring, Ripper Doc. Haven't seen a lot from Ripper Doc recently. Maybe looking to reinvent himself. Uh, never got anything going when he first joined the Flim Flom Cruiserweight Championship or, or division. But uh, he's coming out with a purpose now. A win here. He's got a former champ as a tag partner. A win here could really send him places. Yeah. And. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Exact, my, exactly my point, J5. You know he can't be feeling too good about the place he's, uh, he's held in the JFW thus far and looking to shake things up in any way he can. Let's see if he can make an impact. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he, it looks like he's not the most... Uh, work, doesn't work in the most sterile environment, but I guess he is working a lot hard with COVID, isn't he? You know, so maybe that's, he hasn't been able to dedicate as much time to the JFW as he maybe should have done. Maybe. Discount yeah, def doctor. definitely a possibility. Yeah. He's a doctor, um, isn't he? He's a fully qualified doctor, I'm sure. Look, look yeah, at his... I mean, he definitely looks like a, uh, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider the backstage of the JFW a uh, sterile environment either. So, <laughs> you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. The blood on his uh, scrubs there could just be from walking through one of uh, Skirmetsu's many bloody-filled backstage brawls. <laughs> Oh dear. 
Uh, um, J5, this is a big man, little man challenge. It's a flim flum cruiserweight tagged up with a heavyweight to showcase some of our talent that hasn't uh, found a uh, found a niche yet or, or hasn't had a uh, program to run uh, on consistent weeks. There you go. Well said, Gorilla Mezzo. And let's ignore the fact that one of the big guys is smaller than both the little guys. <laughs> <laughs> he's only he's only smaller height wise. Exactly, he's heavy. He's a big dude. He's buff. The ginger cunt is fucking jacked. <laughs> he's pretty great, isn't he? He's old. Uh, he's old gorilla metal. And there it is. Commentator. Some good tag team action by Ripper Doc and Unseen Walker. And by good tag team action, I mean. They knew how to tag each other in and out. And that's a step up from former Scotch Milk partners, <laughs> McNaughton and Calcium Cats. <laughs> Doctors of Tossonomics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only thing McNaughton knew how to tag in with, you know. <laughs> <laughs> with Wendy. Yeah. Well, yep. <laughs> Was himself for Wendy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bread mask really, you know, uh, avoiding any damage. Or uh, he, he did have a uh, championship run very briefly before this show started uh, on the pre-show wank. So maybe catching a breather there. In <laughs> 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 wank toast. And there he is, the Friday fuck boy, getting fucked on. <laughs> oh, 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 dear me. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good, pretty good night, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Look at that. Second rope tornado DDT by Ripper Duck. Looking pretty good in his return to JFW action. Yeah, pretty impressive. Oh, but the Friday fuckboy, he's been on an inconsistent tear. Look at that standing sunset flip. <laughs> an inconsistent tear, love it. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. <laughs> oh, the double super kick. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit, Flicky Flack managing to jump six inches and wave his arms. That's some personality right there. <laughs> oh my David, oh my god, that's too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh what a what a clothesline. Oh and the pinning attempt a little hopeful here, I think, yeah. Still it was Maybe enough Flicky to, thought Yeah, Flicky might more. might have thought he could uh Manages uh, his weight advantage on Ripper Doc there, but Ripper Doc able to kick out. And now, Lebred Mask in with a nice submission there. Really working those over, but he gets countered out of it and flipped out. Now Ripper Doc on his feet. Yeah, laying into him. Oh. Oh, RKO oh. out of nowhere. Yeah, the RKO out of nowhere. He's and the tiny. fans chanting for it. <laughs> oh, Flicky. Missing with the stomp. It's tough, tough to hit the prone opponent sometimes. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, the, both, all four of these guys trying to... Uh, Show up our tag division. Oh, look at this. Wow. What a maneuver. Using the ropes to leverage the pin. Oof. Just the two count. Very close, though. Uh, yeah, really good tag team action thus far. Pretty strategic. However, later on tonight, we are going to see the cream of the crop rise to the top in the two heads tag division as we have an eight-man tag match between our top four competitors all vying for that one spot to face the fucking rats at SummerSlam. 
It's going to be four on four. Two tag teams that don't normally get along. Oh, here comes a spear, I think. Using yeah. his own move against them. Whoa. And there it is, unseen. Spear down. Hasn't done a lot this match. Is that it for him? No, no pinning attempt. So, yeah, stick around. We're going to have more tag team action. It's going to be a chaotic mess. We have set a 15-minute time limit for that match because otherwise we think it would never fucking end. <laughs> and here's a flak hammer. One of the most yeah. exciting oh. moves in JFW, actually. Yep. I the black hammer on Unseen Walker. And uh, LeBred Mask takes the long road in for the pin. And that's it. Wiki Flack and LeBred Mask playing what he does. <laughs> have won it. What a match. What a win. Not a very good showing by Unseen Walker and Ripper Dog. <laughs> oh, they got battered. <laughs> oh, and you know that's got to sting Ripper Dog a hell of a lot. This was supposed to be his watching point. But instead, he gets double super kick. He watches this big man partner get get manhandled. And all of it falls apart for them. Nearly won there, didn't he? Nearly won it without an incredible pinning attempt. Yeah. Here are your That's true, Ian Gary, yeah. We might we might struggle, but um, uh, you know. I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I, I did run one earlier and it, it did work, so that was good. It's not, I mean, it's a tag match. It's not going to be a tornado, so it'll only be two men fighting at a time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. Oh, guess what's up next, Jim? I believe it's, uh, yes, it's McNaughton versus Adonta Kellis. Absolutely, oh, yes. this match got no, set I earlier tonight. Be. And these two are defend. going to be making Jim the case Hannah. that they should get Tony plays poorly at SummerSlam. Hard to see how Adon doesn't have the claim, but McNaughton, I believe, pretty much undefeated. And maybe he has a loss on his card. No, uh, he's four and zero as a singles competitor. Four and zero as a singles competitor. That is incredible in the JFW. He really does have a claim here, and I can't wait to see what's going to go down between these two. Absolutely, and in the midst of all that, thank you very much, Mr. T. Emery, or Mr. Temery. <laughs> there is McNaughton making his way out. No Wendy in sight tonight. Interesting. And wait, oh! wait, what's this? Oh, no, it's Kelsey who has. He's got a structural kendo stick, and he's going straight after McNaughton with it. <laughs> Oh, he got him! He got him in the back before this match could even get going. He's just laying into him. Oh, no, McNaughton in some serious trouble here. <laughs> As he just sends him down to ringside. Oh, the big elbow. Oh, Jesus. Fucking calcium. <laughs> and... <laughs> You can hear Calcium oh. saying, I decide when this fight's over, and he hasn't yeah. decided it's over yet, obviously. Yeah, C Calcium, Calcium doing the old, uh, <laughs> just keep getting, ba get back up, get punched in the face until the other guy finally dies of a heart attack strategy. It's a bold play, but it could work in this case. Yeah. I don't know why he's getting in the ring. This is not a sanctioned match between these two. It no. did not work out for him at all. <laughs> <laughs> and McNaughton now just unlocked. <laughs> 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 I didn't know they'd declare a winner to that. No, neither did I. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Kelsey, I'm getting shit together, man. <laughs> but did he do enough damage? Oh, that that just replaced the match. Oh, I thought we'd still have the match. Yeah, I did as well. I thought he was going to fuck him up and then they were going to have the match still. Oh, well, it looks like we're going backstage. Scaramezzo versus Shawnee. I guess we're going to have to wait on a Odontakelis versus McNaughton. <laughs> Well, yeah, I totally forgot that that, that room was happening. But thank you very much, Mr. Temery, for staying fantastic for two months. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely glorious. And, uh... Wow. So backstage we go. <laughs> the lair of Scaramezzo. He is just undefeated unless he allows a defeat to set in. Backstage. 
but I don't think he's going to put up with any of Shawnee's shit. These two are not friends. He is not looking to be very generous with them. And here we go. Fists are flying. Sturamezzo versus Shawnee backstage brawl. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Skuro's environment, isn't it? Yeah, he is one and one backstage. A dominant record. <laughs> dominant. We always see him backstage. He's got his camera in hand in the boys' locker rooms. <laughs> <laughs> if not him, then who, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> Winner three, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here we go, spilling down the hallway. Shawnee in control of this match thus far. Although a guy who relies on a submission move probably not going to have a ton of success oh. in a backstage brawl. Oh, sends him into... Uh, Jim's McMahon's office, it looks like. Uh-oh, looks like the uh, the boss ain't home, thankfully, for both of these guys' careers. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh big DDT. DDT. That is not a padded floor. There's just a carpet there between them and 15 inches of concrete, I assume. <laughs> 15 not, that the, not that the depth of the concrete really matters in the slightest. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and, and Skuro deftly rolls out from the chair, rips it away from Shawnee, and now he's back in control here. Oh, look at that double underhook suplex, and now he's got the chair, and he doesn't miss like Shawnee did. Big <laughs> glove Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, and he's stunning his head off 15 inches of concrete. My <laughs> <laughs> <I> God. <laughs> oh, and into the oh, table. Oh, sends him into the table. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> Skura's best weapon, the pop of Powerbomb, also pretty useless in a backstage brawl. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, he's back out into the, uh, into the hallway again. Yeah. And here we go. The fight continues in the hallway. Looks like John Cena backstage <laughs> interviewing. I'm sure that's Tony Place Paul. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah, you're right. I can see now the light was hitting him wrong. It's definitely Tony Place poorly <laughs> looking pretty jacked over there. Yeah, he's looking jacked and wearing <laughs> fucking jorts for some reason. But it's yeah. definitely yeah. not a WWE superstar wearing the JFW. <laughs> Skuro slams into that table hard, hit that briefcase too. In some trouble here. <laughs> oh, Shawnee taking over here. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wrenching his bad knee. Oh, that's his good knee. <laughs> oh, oh, he's there. Skuro having a little runabout. <laughs> <laughs> Defying physics to hit that equipment box. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Incredible. Oh god. Smashed into the wall. Oh. And here we go. Come on, Skuro. Fighting back against Johnny. I don't have oh. a dog in this fight, but damn, do I want to see Skuro win. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Gorilla. Yep. <laughs> Everyone else runs away when they get near to them, but no, uh, no, like... not, not not big match Tony. <laughs> yeah, not big match Tony, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good for us. Frost <laughs> oh yeah. And here we go. Can can Skoro close it out and continue his dominance backstage? Or will this be the end of the run? Can Shawnee win? <laughs> The unsanctioned backstage brawl. Actually, it's a sanctioned backstage brawl, technically. Mm. Oh, a kick to the head, the counter out. Like all Johnny backstage in brawls in JFW, it was scheduled ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Well, except for uh, Tarsons versus Jimmy Minmax Fast. Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, Shawnee oh, violently the pick throwing up, that put down. And now looking at him. Kicked him in the head Just there. Kicks him in the head on the ground. <laughs> the dirty Dino. Oh, and here's the big knee. 
Yep, dropping, dropping the knee. Oh, he's busted open. Oh, this is trouble. Oh, I can't watch much more of this. Gym. <laughs> None well, of us can. Like they're about to kiss for a second there. Yeah. God, countering everything Skuro has for him. Oh, but Skuro back with a counter of his own. The oh, he does get the bomb. pop up power bomb, and he wins it. Skuro <laughs> wins it. What a glorious match! That might have outdone the Golden for Core backstage brawl of April. Unbelievable <laughs> stuff, Jim. We've just witnessed history here. Skuro Metso with a masterful performance backstage once again. It's a shame the JFW can't do right by him and do more for him on TV, but he's there. He's doing everything he can to carry this entire promotion on his back. And in this case, he puts Shawnee on his back for the win. Yeah, but anyway, next up, it's four versus four of a tag team. Four amazing tag teams that are in contention. We've got six feet down under. We've got the unnatural snackers. We've got Das Hats. And we've got Dress for Business. And will they all be able to coexist? Will they be able to work together? They've kind of got to because whoever gets the win here... Whoever gets the loss, the powers that be will be sizing it all up to see who gets the title shot at SummerSlam. I can't wait to see the result of this epic eight-man, four-versus-four tag team match. Absolutely, Jim, I agree. We just witnessed the best backstage brawl in history, and I have somehow a longer attention span than you do. So they're talking over me and says... No, it doesn't matter, because I'm talking back over you. We're not going to have entrances here. We're going to jump straight into it with a 15-minute time limit. Let's yeah. see what happens. Absolutely, and Pot calling the kettle black, unseen walker, heavyweight jobber hurled at Skuro. I think you should worry about your own guy. <laughs> but here we go, we are on a timer, 15 minute timer, that isn't running. Oh Christ! <laughs> Why isn't it running, Jim? I don't know! <laughs> oh, fuck about! Did you add that in, or is that there? <laughs> we said it. We said it, but it's not working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, it's possible we're going to be watching this for an entire uh, Rebel game. <laughs> yep. Um, the thing is, I did do a test one of these, and it did end within 10 minutes. So. All right, well... Uh, I am. I will call it. We've got. Uh, we've got 14 minutes left in the match. Yeah. Yeah. We can actually leave. fuck it. Just so it's even, we'll call it in 5:15 my time. So 10:15 uh, your time. Nice and even number. Yeah. Yeah. So slightly more than 15. That's fine, isn't it? Yep. Maybe yeah. it's accounting for the entrances. Yeah. So in in 14 minutes. The Start. Oh dear me! But yeah, this way, this way, if the timer runs out properly, it'll run out before our timer does anyway. Yeah. So we have no idea what's going to happen. What we do know is all four of these teams are vying for a spot in SummerSlam against the fucking rats. But we've heard from on high they want a one-on-one -on -one match or well, two-on-two -two match in in, in that slot. So we're not going to get a multi-man match. We're going to get the best tag team that the division can offer against the fucking rats. Will it be the unnatural snackers six feet down under Doss Hot or Dress for Business? Nobody knows. It could even be Down Stunts Revolution. They didn't make the cut for this one. But and everyone's will, just but, standing there now. But they will have z -talk in representing them in the six-man uh, world-class match next Wednesday, um, which, of course, J5 won this Wednesday and representing the Snackers, so it's all interesting, isn't it? Yep, absolutely, um, and look at that. There it is, historic moment. Dressed for <laughs> businesses, Lemon is good, tagging in Lee Guerra of Das Hot. Those two have a very storied past, and there's a lot of friction between those two teams. Absolutely. The big question is, what are these teams going to value more? 
a win on their sheets or making themselves look better at the expense of their uh, supposed tag partners in this one. Anything could be happening right now. What we do see happening is Night Demon <laughs> dominating Demon. on Lean Guerra. Yeah, big Night maneuver, big slam. Yeah, Night Demon annihilated Lemon, and now he's annihilating Lean Gary. <laughs> Absolutely. Night Demon, one of the most technically profession proficient wrestlers in the JFW. Been a bit uneven, uneven recently. Added in Gdanek to form six feet down under at our last pay-per-view and went on a hell of a run, but they've been uneven as of late. And look at this. Already wow. setting up for the AA. Going to be pretty hard to get a pin here, though. And yeah, Ori Lentz is already in, distracting <laughs> the ref. The cunty wizard being a cunt. Yeah. Not distracting him long enough, though. Oh, my. Oh, man. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and a two count. I thought Night Demon might have had it there, and, yeah. and sure enough, that would have been a sign of the sign of the match stipulation. These teams not running. Oh, oh boy! Uh, the Voodoo Man doing a Voodoo Charm hex. I can't wait to see what the end result is of it. It's a tag in twenty-five. I knew it would pay off, and there he is, the unnatural stacker, Top Rope Johnny, has tagged into the match. Oh. oh. Oh, Gdanik <laughs> was trying to eat Lean Gary's brains there as he was out ringside for a second, but he managed to get in. And now he's going on, picking on J5's dodgy knee there. Oh, what a maneuver. J5 top row, but here's the cunty wizard. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> he still had the pin. No, J5, he could have just kept the pin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Gotta love a bit of the Cunty Wizard. He's been brilliant on the yeah. He he there. might yeah. You know, Shawnee gets credit for being the dirtiest player in the game. <laughs> and speaking of Shawnee, just witnessed an epic backstage brawl against Scaramento. <laughs> but uh, I, my vote might have to be. Oh, look at this, a tombstone. Ooh. My vote might have to be for Oriolensis, the Cunty Wizard, the cuntiest player in the game. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, dragon screw to, to giant J5's knees. Oh, oh look at this. Lean Garrett already hit a tombstone. Now setting up for something else here. Yeah, inverted DDT, nope. but J5 counters it. Yeah, J5 with an interesting counter there, having Ooh. just enough of a belly that Lean Garrett couldn't lock it in around him. <gasps> No Look way! No way! <laughs> and notice Satterfield not helping with the triple <laughs> power bomb. Oh, and there it is—the triple power bomb. Oh boy! And uh, weird to do mid-match. Oh! That's it! And that's it! And there's Team Johnny. <laughs> Winning the match! Unbelievable! The triple powerbomb! Six feet down under, and the unnatural snackers are victorious! And that's a huge tweak for the, for the unnatural snackers! J5 already locking in a win in the tag match on Wednesday, and I believe the snackers had a win on Monday. This has got to be it, right? I think the only thing standing in their way at this point would be six feet down under because they also net the win. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to see what's going to go down in the tag division next week. This is going to be a hell of a run in our final couple of shows leading into SummerSlam. Oh, that was incredible, wasn't it? So, Jay Five, is, he won the six man match and he won this as well. We're not power bomb. Incredible. J5 looking at the clock saying 15 minutes, zero minutes. I don't want to deal with this shit. I just want to go home. <laughs> Let's get through this real quick. And there you have it. And now we are in our main event WR Spenny versus Tony Plays Poorly, the world heavyweight champion. Spenny came out last week and and asserted dominance over dave and now has a hell of a record to show and again we've already seen arguments over who should be in the world heavyweight champion match spenny thinks it's him it's a little bit soon in my eyes for a guy like spenny to get that rub but we'll see a win tonight would almost guarantee it 
Yeah, yeah, very interesting. This is the main event, isn't it, I believe? I'm pretty sure. This is the main event. And let me tell you, all sorts of people vying for all sorts. A lot of our belts are not locked in in matches in SummerSlam yet. If you need to get caught up with the history and action of all these contenders, you need to head to YouTube, search for Jimmy Fantastic, or just go to www.jimmyfantastic.com. Head over to his playlist and you can catch all of every single month of the JFW since its inception, and you can get caught up on all the action. You're so good. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metal. What a professional. Unbelievable. <laughs> Always got to plug the merch, Jim. Some people say he's the best commentator on this channel. <laughs> 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 oh dear. And here's Spenny looking. <laughs> looking ready to go. Yeah, Spenny. Spenny really trying to punch. I won't say punch out of his weight class because he's got a significant size advantage on Tony plays poorly. But he's definitely trying to fight up the ladder here. And we'll see. Maybe, maybe he's calling a shot. And if he can hit it out of the park. You can't really hold much against him. Yeah. <laughs> Fall force to don't even. Big hand. Oh, I Satterfield, I would warn you strongly against Canceling all of the unnatural snackers is run by signing up for fucking Jamageddon. But that's the last we'll be talking about that garbage. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's why you're a standing champ. And, and if I didn't think it was a curse, you'd be my pick to be winning the titles at SummerSlam. Oh, dude. Where's my AF? Well, Tony was done by default, but he was a... Not Tony, J5 was added by default, but he was an earlier, so I just didn't bother putting in previous and Frosty, sorry. It, it, <laughs> I just don't like the fucking triple entrance. It's just, it's just, you know, I just like this one and got the bell. Sorry. <laughs> um, Tony deciding that he didn't need Mighty AF, he could beat Spenny by himself. <laughs> That's yeah, why. yeah. Are we getting big match, Tony, or give up sometimes, Tony? This is a match, you know. Maybe he wanted to be out here and wanted as pure a look at Spenny as physically possible because he knows. I mean, there's a chance this guy has been on a tear. He's probably going to see him vying for his title at some point in the future. I think SummerSlam's a little early. My dogs are about to kill my fiance. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it needs pancakes, but it needs to be not evolution. I don't know, I need to see all the different triple emphasis make a better one. I really like shield, but I don't want it to glitch out. That's the, that's, it, shield would be the one for me. But it's, uh, if it glitches, isn't it? Oh, just a bitch slap. Man, I'm back. Here we go. <laughs> oh, what a, what a lariat. Yeah. Yeah, Spenny really turning it on. He knows a guy like that, you don't, you know, coming out of Wales of all places, you don't get a lot of top, you know, top of the card main event respect. No, there's only been and, one, uh, hasn't there? The uh, the budget Batista, I remember. Uh, I don't know who that is. But... Remember that guy? He just looked like Batista, like basically exactly like Batista. No, I mean, I mean. He was in an XT. No. Um. Oh, I can't remember his name. I mean, is he's Welsh, right? So is yeah, like Mason TV? Ryan. Mason Ryan. Uh oh, yeah, I, I, I don't really, I never really saw him. Yeah, he's Welsh. He's from Tremadog, Porth Madog, Porth Madog. <laughs> Sure is. That's where he's from. <laughs> I 
So yeah, there has been there has been a, uh, a Welsh wrestler, believe it or not. Oh. <laughs> Big and belt from them. All right, let's show up about that now, full boss. We've got yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe I just won't commentate until I see Paul Force time to have it. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a pin, a pin by spending only a one count on Tony plays poorly and now locks in the headlock. Oh, he's making, making Tony suckle at his yeah. teeth. <laughs> I mean, look at those arms and those pecs. I wouldn't want to be locked in there. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well done, Moradam. <laughs> oh, Tony with a big miss. And Spenny <laughs> throws him out, then jumps on the ground. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Big right hand from Tony. Hopefully, Gorilla hasn't just run away. Sounds like he has. Maybe he's muted. Maybe he's doing something. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my Discord's crashed. Yeah, my Discord's crashed. Isn't that weird? Uh, the stream isn't dead, is it? Oh, I play on Xbox. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, my my Discord's gone as well. <laughs> Shit. Stream's fine. Oh no. Oh, of all the times for Discord to shit the bed, it's when <laughs> it's when the guy who's carrying the show can't carry it anymore. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Screw up timing is better than me talking. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Oh, what a DDT! Is that the Impaler DDT? I don't know. Whatever it is, though. Huge DDT from Spenny. <laughs> oh, I thought, he'd, I thought he'd got him! I thought he'd got him there! That was unbelievable. Spenny can't believe it. Looks in disbelief at the ref. What a kick out. Oh, God, and here Tony answers straight back with a Lou Fez press. And now he's waiting to hit him with a stunner. Oh, my God. Don't stand up, Spenny. Don't stand up. By God, stutter, 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 stutter. <laughs> oh, he kicks out. Unbelievable, Jeff. I can't believe it. Kick it out with a stunner. Oh, ho, ho. Tony is not happy. Nails him with the clotheslines. But, but Spenny with a back body drop. Kick to the spine. And now he's going to give him a nice, happy massage. No, he's not. He's going to get counted. <laughs> Fucked off out of the ring. Brutal. Doesn't it just out of here? Oh god, I'm so terrible. <laughs> I'm so bad. And here we go, he's punching him and he's countering and he's running away and he's getting back in the ring and he punches him again. Oh, and it's another Luther's press. Unbelievable. You did miss it, Lemon is good, and that is exactly what happened. Oh, another kick out from Spenny at two. Tony looking aghast, but he's setting up for another stunner. Discord back, stutter, stutter, stutter. Mine isn't back. Oh, unbelievable! Tony has won. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! 
<laughs> Was a good showing, good showing by Spenny, very good showing, kicked out of one stunner. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great finish, yeah, for sure. I'm sure he has a bright future in the JFW. Yep, that was great. Great showing by Spenny. Kicking out of a stunner. But uh, Tony just too Three strong. Words. Shut up, cunt. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Tony. Standing tall at the end of the match. And at the end of at the end of Stand Firm as well. And that's all we've got time for, ladies and gentlemen. And unfortunately, Gorilla Metal can't say goodnight. But I can. So thank you very much, Gorilla Metal. Um, even though you're not here at the moment because of Discord being fucked. <laughs> good night from Gorilla Mezzo. Skuro's saying good night for him. I, I've heard that Skuro's in Gorilla Mezzo's uh, dressing room with his camera out, so having a good look um, at what Gorilla Mezzo's got on offer there. Skuro Mezzo, I'm saying good night for him. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>